Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. Today I am going to go over a pretty important piece of gear. If, you, if you're changing burrs a lot, this really does change your life a little bit. So here we go, we've got a little Dremel, just a headless Dremel. This is just the general stylo, but this applies for pretty much every Dremel. And I'll extend this to rotary tools in general. So today we're just going to go over how to use one of these adjustable chucks. Why they're so good, why they're better than your standard collet system. So something like this that you'd be used to typically comes with your tool. And I'll also go over some of the negatives. It's not perfect, but it is a lot better in a lot of ways. So we'll just go through a lot of the good and bad things about this. So to use one of these, all you're doing is you're taking the end of your flex shaft or rotary tool, whatever it is, and you're just threading this on like you would any other kind of collet or nut. So just thread it on. And you can see here, as you thread it on, the three little jaws inside the chuck, they come together. I can show this without mounting it as well, because all the Dremel thread is doing is it's just pushing on the back. So if I grab something like this, we can see it nice and clearly. If I just shove this straight up the back and mimic what it would be like by tightening it, you're just saying, there you go, the jaws just close. So what you can do is you can fit a tiny, tiny little thing in there, or you can get one of your bigger bigger uh, mandrels and fit that in there like that quite easily as well. Now where this comes in handy is when you're doing stuff like this. So these are two completely different shank sizes. These are the two most common shank sizes. So this one here is on my Sintered Diamond. It's also on my Nova Points. I also went ahead and found some felt burrs. This is for the final polishing stage for what I do. You'd see it on the channel if you check out any of the other videos. They all, all three of these get used almost all the time. And all of these have a smaller shank. So this shank size is a 332nds inch or a 2.35 millimeter shank. Whereas something like this electroplated burr or these, which are screw mandrels that I use to screw on my old felt polishing burrs, these are a little bit bigger. So three millimeter or one eighth inch. Now, if I just keep two of these, one example of each, we've got the sintered diamond, small shank, and electroplated diamond big shank. This, because it adjusts from this range all the way down to fully closed, will fit both of these in there, no worries. If you're gonna use what comes with the tool, that's these. So these are collets, and you can see, you can get them in a full range. The limitations with these are, you can see that center bore, it's really, it's really important to select the right one. So you can see here, this is that small 330 seconds, which goes with the Sintered Diamonds. Nice little snug fit there. It gets tighter when you screw the nut. So this is the nut that goes on the end. When you screw the nut down, it just pinches that last little gap and closes it in there. But of course, if you've got this one mounted on your tool, it's way too big. It's not gonna squeeze. This thing will just do nothing but wobble around and rattle. But for the big one, it fits like a glove. It fits perfectly. And then the small one, nothing. So what I'll do now is I'll just mount one of these into the tool and we'll go through a real-time speed changeover. And then we'll do the same thing with the adjustable chuck and you'll be able to see the difference. So if I just grab my little Dremel here, we'll grab this one here. So this is the small ball. So it just goes in there, just goes in, the nut just goes on top of that. And then you can see here, if I grab the wrong one, there we go, it's not gonna it's not gonna fit in there no matter what I do. This is the only collet that works for this size shank. So then we would tighten that on. There we go, I'll pretend I'm left-handed. So we're carving away, carving away, finished. We wanna change burrs across to the big one. Unscrew this. Completely unscrew this, take it off. Take the collet out. Other one, bigger one, in. Start screwing that on, chuck the big one in there and tighten that and we're good to go. We can go carving away, carving away and then we want to change back again, take that out and we can't just put this one in because no matter how hard we tighten this, this is just going to come straight out. So now we'll get rid of this little guy and I'll show you how much easier it is to switch between them with our trusty adjustable chuck. So it just goes on the end here. We won't screw it all the way in. You can see here it's already closed up a fair bit. So we should be able to fit the skinny, skinnier shank. So it's into diamond burr. We'll actually have to loosen it up a bit more. So in it goes. 
get the depth of it right, tighten it up. So tighten it up, there we go, carving, carving, carving. We want to switch to the other one, just loosen that a tad, loosen it a little bit more because we're going to go with the fat shank. And then just tighten that one up. And there you go, just like that. So much easier to change between different size shanks with this adjustable collet. Out it goes, the other one can go straight back in. No need to take this fully off or anything like that. So once you've got one of these on, it's on there pretty much for good. Until, until it breaks. So that's the one downside for these. They do actually wear out and they do die. I'll take this one off and we'll have a look. So this is the one that I'm having to replace on my current Azedo rotary tool. You can see here the three the three little things are off to the side, the three little jaws. So this one's nice and spaced out, this one's brand new. Inside here are three steel rods that act as these jaws and in between those are springs. That's what gives it that spring back. So if I push down on here and I release, it just springs back open again. This one, unfortunately, I've been using it a long time, but the springs on it are completely shot. So if I manipulate them, I can get them back into position again, and I can try to close the jaws. There you go. But then when I let go, it, uh, yeah, they don't spring back apart. This one is completely cooked. And you can see at the end here, you can see a little bit of rust. Because we're carving with a lot of water stuff, you're bound to get a little bit in there every now and then, and over time that rusts. Luckily enough, if you buy the non-Dremel branded stuff, it's incredibly cheap. So these do break and you do need to replace them. Whereas the collets, even though they're a massive pain to use if you've got multiple different sizes, they do last a lot longer. The springs are far less, far less strong than what these are here. You can also get them in brass rather than the steel. The steel will last longer, but it can also damage your burrs over time. Just like here, this one, this is a sintered diamond that I've used for a really long time. You can see where the collets have chewed into it a little bit over time. Whereas if you use brass, this thing will wear out much quicker, but at least it won't hurt the stems. So all got pros and cons. Now having mentioned Dremel, you can get different brands of these, but you have to be really careful. There's one massive trap. So the trap is these two in almost every dimension are exactly the same. The only real noticeable difference is this has three little grip lines and this one's got two. It doesn't really affect the quality or anything like that. In almost every measurement, especially on Amazon listings, they are exactly the same, but the threads. So the threads just in there that you can see, these two threads are not the same. So I have to buy two different lots of these because Dremel have their size and then pretty much every other rotary tool has a different size. So if I grab this Dremel stylo, it's about the same as most other Dremels. Every Dremel that I've got uses the same one. You can see here, this is a much bigger thread than this one here. So that one screws on, this one way too big. If I use my Azito rotary tool with flex shaft, so this is the, this is the flex shaft end here. You'll see the Dremel one, the one that's suited for the Dremel, will not fit on there. Definitely will not fit, whereas this one, straight on. So I actually have to buy two different two different lots to suit my two different brands of tool. So if you want to make sure you're getting the correct one, if you've got a Dremel style, you need to look for a 932nd inch 40 TPI thread. So 40 threads per inch, 932nd inch is the diameter. If you've got anything else, what you want to get is a metric thread. So this is an M8 0.75 millimeter. So all that means is that that diameter is an M8 and the thread pitch, so the distance between two troughs or two peaks is going to be 0.75 millimeters. It really doesn't sound like a huge difference when you convert the uh, 932s to M8s, but it is enough to make it completely unusable if you buy the wrong one. So definitely keep that in mind. The functionality and everything of them is exactly the same, same principle, same springs that'll still die, same jaws and everything that'll last pretty much forever. I've never had the jaws break on me before. It's literally just that thread. Don't worry about the grip edges I've bought these ones with the three grips and they've been this size and I've bought these two two line grips and it's been 
this M8 size. So hopefully that's uh that's gonna help you guys out when it comes to when it comes to making a decision whether you wanna just stick with your classic collet and collet nut. That's pretty much what comes with every system. And then the optional attachment is the adjustable chuck. You can decide if you just use everything in the one size burr, one size mandrel, if you're just always doing like three thirty seconds of an inch, then just stick to the three thirty seconds of an inch collet. Or the uh or if you're just using one eighth, just stick with the one eighth collet. No need to no need to change. But if you do have a variety, I highly recommend you look into getting an adjustable chuck. They cost just a couple bucks on Amazon. Just make sure you get the right one. Get the right thread for your tool and you'll be uh, good to go. Good luck and happy carving. See you in the next one.